Hey everyone, it is Danny, and welcome to this update video. I hope that you're all having a really wonderful day thus far. It is the start of a brand new week, and so we're going to get into what is happening across uh, the North Atlantic in terms of weather conditions with focus being on Invest 92L, a developing system out in the main development region. And so before I go into details, please do subscribe if you haven't yet done so and tap the notification bell so that you never miss an important update. All right, so let's go into the vicinity of the Caribbean and we can see here that uh, there is quite a bit of activity noted just off the Caribbean coast of Nicaragua and uh, some activities also extended into other parts of the Northern Caribbean increasing all that moisture and so as such, uh, this is going to be enhancing that potential for some afternoon shower and thunderstorm activity across these different areas, maybe for sections of Jamaica, Hispaniola, but going over into most of the Lesser Antilles, uh, Anguilla southward, to Grenada, also inclusive of Barbados and the ABC Islands. We're not seeing where much is happening right now, but there is some activity just in the vicinity of Trinidad. And then heading to Northern South America, we can see that there isn't too much happening. And then up into most of Central America, it is pretty clear uh, as we're going to be progressing to the afternoon hours. Now let's go ahead and drift out into the Atlantic and look at this. Uh, here we have Invest 92L. It isn't very impressive right now on satellites, but it is getting better organized and is likely to become a tropical depression by the next day or two as stated by the National Hurricane Center. So looking at the latest track of it, here we can see that the chance is at 90%, so almost a 100% chance that we will be seeing development of this. And uh, let's take a look at the difference compared to the 2 a.m. update. This was earlier this morning and here we can see that the track, the end of that track uh, has shifted a bit more to the south. It is expected to continue moving toward the west uh, for the most part and start to move to the west north west on a closer approach to the Caribbean. And so guys, let's now go ahead and take a look at some of the latest runs from uh, the GFS Euro and Icon models. So we're going to be starting out with the GFS. So uh, there we have the system. This is what is expected by tomorrow morning. There we have that high pressure. Uh, the high pressure, it is really the steering force for this. It keeps the system uh, steering toward the west. So GFS is expecting rapid intensification here. Going to, uh, heading down to the end of this week, going to Friday. There we are seeing that the GFS is showing the system potentially as a strong hurricane here. We see a pressure of around 969 millibars. But in this case, GFS has that it is going to be missing the Caribbean and remaining as a fish storm, meaning that it's not going to be affecting anywhere, uh, really just spending its lifetime over in the open ocean waters of the Atlantic. Going on to the Euro model now, by Tuesday, there we have the system uh, well to the east of the Windward Islands. And then as we're going to be progressing into Thursday, uh, we see that it is maintaining uh, intensity here, not becoming anything very strong compared to GFS and also maintaining that westward track. And that is the end of the model run right there. So more than likely, this is going to be affecting uh, islands of the Caribbean. And, and then going on to ICON, ICON also not expecting much from this as we're going to be heading through the early part of the week. Uh, maybe it will in fact become a depression or even a weak storm, but not rapidly intensifying as what GFS is expecting. So going on to Wednesday, we see here that uh, not much change in the intensity of the system. Going to Thursday, a little bit of strengthening and eventually ICON has it that this is going to be making its way over uh, the Lesser Antilles and in the case where it is a disorganized system and that activity is widespread, most of the uh, island chain will likely feel impacts from this. So we have the GFS being the most robust of the three runs here, expecting even a major hurricane from this, but I really don't think that is likely at this point in time. I mean, yes, the sea surface temperatures are off the charts for this time of year. It's very conducive out there, but at the same time, there's also that drive Right here, let's go on to that Saharan earlier map. So uh, where we have those shades of oranges going to those reds, that is where we have uh, dry air being in more of an abundance. And so so it really helps to keep uh, the intensity of systems at a minimum, and it really helps to prevent any major intensification. So because that Saharan dust is still there ahead of it, I really don't think that we're going to be seeing a major storm, but I'm not saying that it is completely impossible. And so if you're in the Eastern Islands going to Barbados, 
Angeles from Anguilla down to uh, Grenada, please stay on watch even for Puerto Rico and the Virgin Islands because uh, that northwestward turn is still uh, very much possible even as we look at uh, these tracks here on the model track guidance. And so guys, let's see what happens with this as time goes by and I will be posting updates as necessary. And so that is pretty much it for right now. And if you have any questions, feel free to leave them down in the comments. I will try to respond as best and as soon as I can. And remember to always be weatherwise.